Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs of Strategic Cost and Performance Management. We are going to be doing one more MCQ today. Now, it has been my constant effort since last many months that I bring good content to you, something that is relatable to the real life. And that is whatever has all been my examples from also. Easy subject if you try to relate it to the businesses that are evolving now. This chapter is a representation of how the businesses are changing. Okay, whether it is a company like say PTM or companies like say Ola, some of them have become big, some of them have faced problems or a company like say Baijus, okay, which is all in doldrums. So this chapter, it focuses on basically the new type of businesses that are there. Okay. And that's what we are about to be doing. So let's start it off the question for today. Just one small thing in case you wish to be enrolling for my complete course, see the link below in the description and uh, join my telegram channel in the group that will be helpful for you. Let's start off with a question for today. Lean startup, agile and design thinking are emerging and prominent aspects of changing business environment. Dash is a common core of all these three things. Lean startup, agile and design thinking. Now, First of all, you should be knowing what are all these things. See, lean startups are basically those kind of companies. Okay. When they start, they want to be avoiding waste. Lean systems are those kind of system whereby waste are less. Waste could be of money, waste could be of material, waste could be of the time of the workers, etc. etc. But these organizations, they don't have much amount of funding. So therefore, these organizations, which are uh, popularly called as lean systems, they uh, lean startups, they all have a MVP with them, minimum viable product. They all have thought of this is like, you know, the product that we want to be launching, but it is still in a very like, you know, early stages. Okay. So we call that as MVP, minimum viable product. Say that when Ola had started, they launched an app that was a basic app, like, you know, to be connecting the taxi drivers. Okay. And the users. Okay. And once they realize, yes, this thing works, they try to then make that thing better and they try to scale up the things. Okay. So these are lean systems. Okay. Sorry. These are lean startups. Lean startups are basically those companies like, you know, who are very small, but then they have some product in mind. Okay. But they are ready to be changing also. Suppose the customer doesn't like this particular thing. They will try to be, try to be doing something else. These are lean systems. Agile systems. Agile itself means it is flexible. Okay. These companies are flexible in everything. They are ready to do this if it works. If it does not work, they are ready to be doing this. They are adaptive based upon customer responses. They only know one small thing and that is like, you know, that what does a customer want and we'll try to give whatever those guys want as such. Okay. This is first, this is second, third. Design thinking, I will try to explain through some kind of a diagram by uh, Stanford University. But what is common between them? Dash is a common core of lean startups. Okay. What is a common core? Give me the four options, please. Scientific hypothesis. Okay. Like, you know, scientific hypothesis See, in business. No science might not always work. Hypothesis means they try to be thinking this thing works and they'll try to test it. If it does not work, then in that case, they'll scrap the hypothesis example, like, you know, for life to exist, there has to be oxygen. This is whatever the scientists, okay, across the world think. So therefore, they try to search those particular planets whereby there is oxygen. That is a hypothesis that we all have thought, okay. If that hypothesis, like, you know, we'll try to be testing, say, 10 planets like this. If there is oxygen, there should be life. But then if suppose in 10 planets, there was oxygen, but there was no life. So therefore, then this hypothesis might not be true also, okay. Second, Innovation. I think that should be the answer, but I'll continue. Creativity. Okay. And uh, technical solution. Now, <clears throat> do remember that uh, you all know what you mean by lean startups. You all know whatever you mean by agile uh, organizations. Then what is design thinking? Design thinking is basically redefining the problems, redefining the assumptions, and then in this case, trying to launch the products in a better way. Okay. That is design thinking, giving new solutions to the problems that is design thinking. There are a lot of steps that uh, Stanford school has told. It could be first one, uh, empathize, then define, then ideate, then problems, and then finally test the product that you all have launched. Okay. If it works, it's okay. Else again, get back to the things. Okay. I'll not go into the details of this because it will not be required as such. Okay. 
बट ऑब्वियसली द कोर ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स इज नथिंग बट इनोवेशन एवरीवेयर ओके एवरीवेयर इन ऑल दीज थ्री थिंग्स दैट इज लीन स्टार्टअप्स अजाइल एंड डिजाइन थिंकिंग वट इज कॉमन इज नथिंग बट इनोवेशन ओके If you cannot come out with something new, if you are a startup, if you try to be launching the same thing that others have already launched, why will people buy your product? There has to be something innovative. Now, innovative might not always mean a product. It could be pricing also. Okay, example: furniture are sold by many companies. You try to launch your furniture, but you don't sell. You rent it out. Okay, that is innovation. Okay, might not be the innovation in the products, but innovation in the pricing. But there has to be some kind of the innovation. Agile organizations also, like you know, they try to be coming out with new things every now and then. Not what is there else. How will they survive? Same thing with design thinking. Design thinking is trying to be giving new solutions to the problem. For that, the innovation is required. Now, as I told that uh, innovation might not be always about launching new products with the features that were not there. It could be about many things. Suppose, like you know, for a service sector, it could be new kind of things. For a small example, if I'll tell you, now in the new bikes which are coming now. Okay, now whenever you buy a bike, you have to take it for servicing, right? Okay. in the new bikes which are coming now okay like many people don't know when to get the bike service so therefore a easy thing was can bike tell you when to get it serviced so these days there is a notification that comes like you know that bike uh, servicing due in these many kilometers okay so like you know these are the things that drives the new businesses these days so therefore answer should be innovation more about all these particular things in the normal lectures that i do because it's a very big topic okay all the things all the examples okay might not be possible few i have given few you can also try to be finding out because these are the happening things across the world okay i'll see you all next time in another lecture this is the qr code of the playlist that has all the mcqs that we all have put till date ensure to check it up and share it with your friends okay till the time i meet next time bye